Where is she? Obey me, or she dies, apprentice. Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina and welcome to another episode of A Star Wars Story. In this video I will be telling the story of Darth Vader's secret apprentice, codenamed Starkiller, aka Galen Merrick, who is most notably seen in both of the Star Wars The Force Unleashed games. But in this video I am covering only Starkiller from the first game because the one from the second one is kind of considered as another character because he's the clone of the original Galen Merrick. So his story will be told in a separate video. By the way, I just want to say that Starkiller is one of our favorite Star Wars characters, so this is a very special video for us. Also, we are mixing the expanded universe and canon as always, so let's begin. Galen Merrick, codenamed Starkiller, was a male human apprentice of the Sith Lord Darth Vader. He was a powerful force user who lived during the era of the Galactic Empire and originated from the Wookiee home planet of Kashyyyk as the sole offspring of the two Jedi Knights. Mali and Kento Merrick, who deserted the Jedi Order during the Clone Wars. Following the death of his mother, the young Merrick's father was killed in battle by Darth Vader during the invasion of Kashyyyk. Though only a child, Merrick possessed an exceptional strong connection to the Force that the Dark Order of the Sith sought to exploit. Thus, Darth Vader abducted Merrick in order to train the orphan in the ways of the Sith Order. Although the Sith were limited to only two members at any given time, Vader nonetheless trained Merrick as the secret apprentice during his own apprenticeship to Darth Sidious, the Sith Lord who ruled the galaxy as Emperor Palpatine. The physical and psychological trauma of Vader's unforgiving training regime resulted in Merrick's immersion within the dark side of the Force as his master intended. With his childhood memory suppressed and his original identity forgotten, Merrick only knew himself as a Dark Lord's apprentice, an assassin who operated under the codename Starkiller and the living weapon to be deployed against the enemies of Darth Vader. In addition to the assassination of numerous targets that included Vader's many rivals, the apprentice trained for years in preparation for the day when he would be ready to aid his master in a confrontation with Darth Sidious. This singular goal became Starkiller's obsession as he longed to become a true Sith Lord. The pinnacle of Starkiller's training saw him deployed against Jedi targets for the first time in his life in 3 BBY and culminated in victories against the fugitive Jedi Masters Ram Koda, Kazan Paratus, and Shakti. With the death of Shakti, one of the few members of the Jedi High Council who survived Order 66, Darth Vader declared that the time had come to execute their plan to overthrow the Emperor. Elated at the prospect of finally fulfilling his sole purpose in life, Starkiller rendezvoused with Vader on the Executor only to be betrayed and severely wounded by his master who claimed that Sidious' spies had discovered the existence of the secret apprentice. Pressured by the Emperor, Vader demonstrated his loyalty by seemingly killing Starkiller. In truth, the betrayal was a ruse that allowed Vader to save his apprentice's life. Upon Starkiller's full recovery in 2 BBY, Vader revealed his contingency plan, the creation of a full-scale rebellion against the Galactic Empire. The Apprentice was instructed by his master to assemble an army of rebels and dissidents in order to distract the Emperor's attention with the Civil War, hence allowing them both another opportunity to assassinate Sidious. Though bitter and resentful toward Vader, Starkiller complied and searched several parts of the galaxy for influential contacts that would be crucial to the formation of an insurrection on a galactic scale. Through Starkiller's efforts, three disillusioned members of the Imperial Senate, Bail Organa, Garbel Imblis, and Mon Mothma, convened on the planet Corellia where they agreed to join their resources together in opposition to the Emperor's rule. However, the mission proved to be another deception on Vader's part, the Dark Lord betrayed Starkill once more and captured the Senators. Outraged by the discovery that his master was unwilling to challenge Darth Sidious with Starkiller's aid, the former apprentice journeyed to the incomplete Death Star and intended to rescue his newfound allies from execution. Abandoning the persona of Starkiller, he re-embraced his Jedi heritage as Galen Merrick through the partial recovery of his suppressed memories. During the apprentice's infiltration of the newly complete battle station, Galen Merrick confronted and defeated his former master in battle. Sidious hoped to claim Merrick as his new apprentice and goaded him to kill Vader. Instead, Merrick attacked the Emperor in a move to provide the Senators with enough time to escape the Death Star. Galen ended up in a Force Lightning Lock with the Emperor and held on long enough for his friends to escape, thus sacrificing himself. Nevertheless, his sacrifice facilitated the formation of the Alliance to restore the Republic and the outbreak of the Galactic Civil War. 
The early founders of the Rebellion remembered the apprentice as Galen Merrick, the original architect of the Rebel Alliance, and honored his memory by adopting the Merrick family crest as the official emblem of the move to free the galaxy. Unknown to the Rebels, Darth Vader preserved his former apprentice's corpse as a genetic template for the creation of a more powerful and obedient version of the original Starkiller. But this is a story for another video due to the fact that the clone of Starkiller is considered as another character. Now we're gonna go through Starkiller's powers and abilities due to the fact that he's one of the most skilled force users to ever live and is basically a human tank. Galen Merrick was an incredibly skilled duelist and had a basic familiarity in all forms of lightsaber combat. He was able to recognize his opponent's styles and techniques and exploit their weaknesses. He specialized in Juyo, Sheehan and Soresu forms of lightsaber combat. His style was very random and unpredictable, laced with sudden force based attacks in the midst of complex lightsaber sequences. He engaged in many vicious duels with his training droid Proxy and won every single time. He was able to defeat Proxy's training programs which replicated some legendary duelists such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul. Merrick was also able to defeat Ram Koda, Kazan Paratus and Maris Brood, and he even managed to overwhelm Shaak T and his former master Darth Vader, both of whom were two of the greatest duelists of their time. Galen Merrick was exceptionally powerful in the Force with the potential to become one of the most powerful Force users of all time. Even the Dark Lord of the Sith, Emperor Palpatine, believed that Merrick's strength in the Force could rival his own. Merrick's skills with telekinesis were considerable, and he often cleared entire hallways and rooms with powerful Force pushes and repulses, and he even caught TIE Fighters in mid-flight. Proficient at telekinetic lightsaber combat, he would often direct his lightsaber to seek out specific enemies and impale them, often killing them instantly. He was even able to redirect filed missiles and ballistics. Through the use of telekinesis, he could with great effort change the direction of a falling Imperial Star Destroyer and force it to the ground. As a trained Sith apprentice, Merrick grew to master Force Lightning. He could cast energy so powerful that it would kill an opponent with a single blast and could target more than one opponent at a time. He was also able to channel lightning attacks through his lightsaber, thus amplifying blade attacks with dark side energy. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Starkiller and I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. But this episode is not over yet and now we're gonna show you a fan made trailer called Starkiller A Star Wars Story. It is so epic and we hope you enjoy it. What is your will my master? Rise my apprentice. Weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. Master Shock T, one of the last of the Jedi Council. While we live, the Order survives. You need the full power of the dark side to defeat her. Captain Juno Eclipse. I would keep your ship running and fly you wherever your missions require. Did Vader tell you that he killed our last pilot? No. I hoped that using an older training module would catch you off guard and allow me to finally kill you. I'm sorry I failed you again. The Sith always betray one another. But I'm sure you'll learn that soon enough. Vader thinks he's turned you. But Vader won't always be your master. Let this be an official declaration of rebellion. Today, we all vow to change the galaxy. And one day, the galaxy will indeed be free. The link to the original video will be in the description below as well as the creator's channel. Show him some love guys because he definitely deserves it. If you want to support this channel hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one and remember guys, God is awesome all the time, may the force be with you always, 
and we'll see you in another video, you rebel scum. This party's over.